Just a little bit. Excuse me. What is going on today, everybody? We are going to begin the process of a new studio. My intention for this evening was to finish editing this podcast that I will have ready for you guys by the time this video gets posted. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description and up here at this banner. But as I'm getting more into the video editing scene and outside of the music production, I've realized that it's better to transcode your media into proxies when editing, which ends up actually taking longer than I want it to. So while that proxy is being made right now, we're going to go ahead and start getting ready for our new space in what will eventually be our immersive Dolby Atmos studio. That's right, we're doing it guys. Right now my studio is in a little 9 foot by 10 foot room and it does justice for what I needed to do, at least for a stereo mix. But the dimensions of what Dolby recommends, at least with their specifications, I'm going to need just a couple more feet on both sides. Fortunately enough, I have a room big enough at the place I am currently renting, which is currently my master bedroom. And it took me a while to decide whether that was going to be worth it or not. And judging by the rumors that keep coming up and how I see the industry potentially changing into this new way of mixing and mastering, I think it would really be worth my while. And even though I don't have the speakers right now to be able to actually start working in an immersive studio, I think it would be wise to go ahead and start making the transition. I'm getting really optimistic about how cool the creative aspects of what an immersive studio will be like. But I'll get more into those details when I get the speakers and in another video with the binaural rendering. But for now, let's start tearing down this studio and begin the transition into the new room. Right now, I'm just trying to get everything cleared off of my desk. And now that my MacBook has finished transcoding the media from the podcast, I'm going to start unhooking everything and the desk will be the first thing we try to get into the new room. Everything's unhooked. Now that we got the most important thing out of the way, let's start bringing in some stuff from the other room and let's get all of this old stuff from the studio back into it. Well, the bed is now in place where the desk used to be. And the desk is now in the studio. Now that we have the bed out of the way, which was the main piece that was kind of stopping us from figuring out how we can fit all of my other bedroom stuff into that little room, we can now start getting it out of the way and figuring out our studio layout. And now we have most of the new studio tore out. I have all of the carpet that was pulled up. They were just little square tiles set I decided to put in but it's mostly out of the way I got to move some of these kit pieces out of the way to get that carpet but getting everything a little more organized will probably be a job for tomorrow so catch you guys tomorrow well not actually tomorrow it'll probably be a transition like it is now tomorrow what I decided to do yesterday was to buy a couple more rugs uh, to kind of fill in the space of where I intend on putting more stuff uh, because the way I was going to set up the drums in the studio wasn't exactly how I was intending to but I think this design is a little better. Just like in the previous studio we have our main mixing desk which instead of being against the wall is more closer to the middle which will be the mixing position. We will have three front speakers a left center and right and on the sides we will have separate speakers and I have positioned the keyboard right there and the keyboard stand that I have of where the rear surround speakers are going to be. And my main issue at first was, how am I gonna set up my drums in my studio without interfering with each of the rear surround speakers? But they're gonna be about four feet high from the ground, and I think I'm gonna get a couple cymbal mutes and some drum mutes to prevent them from 
making noise from the other speakers, or even maybe just one big drum cloth to prevent resonant noises coming from any speakers in the room. I can't express how excited I am to be able to show you guys what it'll be like to have an at-home Dolby Atmos immersive studio. I'm hoping to have the speakers in within the next month. I will be going into more detail about how I chose my speakers, what tools that Dolby provides to figure out your room dimensions and what speakers will fit best in your room, and my recommendations on what to consider in an at-home Dolby Atmos immersive studio. I've come up with like six different plans already to figure out what the best way to do it in a basic master bedroom in a typical home. But until then, be sure to subscribe so you'll be up to date on the next at-home Dolby Atmos Immersive Studio updates.